What's up, nerds? I'm the Renegade Cactus, but you can call me whatever you want. And yes, I got a green screen. You don't see it, but I got a green screen, which means there is nothing behind me. Like, it starts here. Do you see that? No, you don't, because it's great. Green screen is great. OBS is great about it. It's just amazing. So this is just a short update that I will A, put out on the channel by itself and B, uh, put in front of one or two videos as well, just so that it gets seen. So it's just a short update about the future of or a uh, future series or what's going on with series in general. First, my current running series Pokemon X Randomized Nuzlocke will be done pretty soon because all we have left is one gym badge and the Elite Four plus the champ. So basically we're almost done with the game. We still have quite a few episodes, or quite a few. We still have a few episodes, uh, but it's not gonna last too long. Secondly, um, this video will also be put in front of a new series, which will start, like, I think one or two days from now. Like this week, when I upload this video, this video separately, then the new series will start one or two days later. I don't really have a fixed schedule for the series. I don't know how often or how long I will do it. I just know I will start it and we will see. Um, so far, I'm thinking something like Thursday and Saturday maybe or Tuesday, Thursday. So once or twice a week will be the minimum, I'm guessing. I don't want another series with three times a week. For now, I don't think that I have the time to actually do that because I'm still working. But anyway, uh, I love this. I love this so much with the background, with the clouds. And I'm, sometimes I will just... One day I will make my cam bigger for this. But I just, it just looks so great. By the way, these are royalty-free clouds in the background. I will post a link to it in the description. Yada, yada, yada. So, Pokemon X... Almost done. A uh, new series starts. If you follow me on Twitter, which you should, then uh, you might already know which game it is because I said it. I said what it will be. Just saying. Then I'm... Every now and then I'm streaming Digimon again. Digimon World DS. Uh, again, if you follow me on Twitter, you will see when I go live. And I might even say it before then, but yeah. Uh, because I'm planning on finishing Digimon. I also finished another game that I started once. Which I will upload once Pokemon X is done. Because between Pokemon X and the next series that will start, I don't know when, afterwards. I want at least a few days in between where I just upload some stuff that I have in mind right now. One of which is a finished series. Um, then I want to finish Digimon on stream. Still, this will take some time probably because I never know when I can actually stream. And yeah, then I have some other stuff already recorded. So some new episodes are about to be done for a new project. So basically there's a lot to, uh, a lot to look forward to. But to summarize again, Pokemon X Randomized Nuzlocke will be done soon. A new series starts... I'm guessing this Thursday. Yes, let's make this let's make this here. This Thursday. A new series will start. Um I will finish some series once Pokemon X is done. I will keep streaming every now and then. No fixed schedule for streaming. Sorry, I just can't do it. And I think that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for enjoying my stuff. Thank you for the... Uh, at this time I'm recording this, it's 118 subscribers, which is amazing. Because my goal for this year was to get 100 subscribers by the end of the year. And we still have three months to go. So I love it. Almost four months. Love it. Uh, and yeah. Now, enjoy the rest of your day if you watch this video standalone. Enjoy the Pokemon episode if this is the beginning of the Pokemon episode you are watching. Or enjoy the new series if this is the beginning of the new series. Thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry for that. I'm the Renegade Cactus and I gotta run. Bye-bye. 
What's up, nerds and ragged cactus, but you can call me whatever you want. Welcome to Monster Sanctuary. Uh, it's a game that I've been eyeing for quite a while, I would say like four, five, six months, so not exactly too long, but hey. Um, I wanted to play the demo that was out for quite a while again, uh, but I never really got to it. So now I thought, since this game just came out for early access, let's just jump straight into it. Oh wow, that's a lot of save slots. Let's just straight jump into it and see what this game is all about. So as I said in the beginning, like in the uh, short update in the beginning, I have no idea if this will be a series or not. First of all, since it is uh, early access, it is not the full game yet. And second of all, I have not played it. I've watched two videos on it and that's about it. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Like, if I like this game, of course it will be a... Oh my goodness. Uh, of course it will be a main series. But if I don't, or if it's just meh, or if it just doesn't fit as a series, then we won't do it. Monster Sanctuary is a land far from any other human civilization. I love the monster design. While wild monsters are dangerous to humans, monsters raised by them grow loyal to their owners. Some keep them as pets, others do battle with them. Ha! Most of the people of Monster Sanctuary live in the Keeper's Stronghold. That's a big stronghold. Many of them learn to raise and train monsters. They call themselves Monster Keepers. So we're gonna talk about the basics of the game as soon as we're done with the intro, but it's just, it's really charming. Choose the familiar of your bloodline. Hmm. Okay, so basically, this is a monster collection, monster fighting battle game. It is one of those, one of those that I actually absolutely like. One of my Jotun games, as I call them. And like I said, I have watched one or two videos like on the side. I just wanted to see a first look before I pay the money to get something that I might not enjoy. But it absolutely, like in the first 10 minutes, it just looked so amazing that I had to get it. So, we got the Spectral Wolf, we got the Spectral Eagle, the Spectral Toad and the Spectral Lion. Alright. Okay, now let me think. Normally, like, <laughs> I would say Kid Me would, of course, go for the Spectral Wolf. He, it's a wolf. Wolves are amazing. Spectral Eagle, I don't know about. I love birds. Absolutely. Uh, eagles are amazing. I just don't know. Toads, I think it's the pretty obvious choice for it's not like the rest. Like, all the others are... Let's be mean to the toad. All the others are majestic creatures and this is a toad. But I love it. It's it's the Bulbasaur of this bunch. And the Spectral Lion... Personally, I'm not a huge fan of lions. I mean, lions are amazing, but it's just... They are not ranked very high in my favorite animals. Which are as follows, at least the top three. Uh, pandas. And... Penguins. Otters. Maybe otters than penguins. I don't know, but pandas, otters and penguins are my top three animals. Sadly, I can't have them. At least not right now. All right, um, now the toad, I'm, I'm just, it, it's gonna take a time, uh, it takes some time, I'm very sorry, you can skip ahead if you don't want to hear my explanation. But the toad has little attack and magic, but decent defense and pretty high health and mana. The spectral lion seems to be the most uh, all around, uh, like the, the most well rounded. Spectral eagle is an attacker and not very defensive and the spectral wolf is Similar, but a bit more on the mana part and less on attack and magic. So, and I love earth elementals. Basically, the spectral toad seems to be my favorite. Then again, do I have a die right here? I don't think I do. Wait, I spoke too soon. Of course I have my trusty dice here. Okay. We gotta take out a... Okay. So basically, I don't know if you can see it very well. There are 
numbers on the die. The one that's on the top is the one that's rolled. So three, four, one, and somewhere over there, there's a two. Basically, I'm going to roll one for Spectral Wolf, two for Eagle, three for Toad, four for Lion. Now you just gotta trust me that I roll. Wait, I got a mouse pad. You know what? We're gonna do that straight into the camera, and then I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna, uh, you know what? I'm gonna hold it up afterwards. And here we have it. Ah, my controller is moving. Okay. See that I'm not moving the die. And on the top, uh, that's harder than I thought. On the top we have three, right? Yeah, three. So basically it's going to be the Spectral Toad. Interesting. I think I would have chosen it anyway, but just, yeah, Le left it to luck. Wow, that was... That was incredibly stupid. <laughs> but no one can say that I play favorites now. You know, I think... Oh, wait. Among the most prestigious monster keepers, there are four prominent old bloodlines tied to the monster sanctuary's history. Each of those bloodlines is aided by a spectral familiar. Those familiars are ageless protectors of their family, passed on from one keeper to the next. By the way, I hope that the toad has poison attacks. Renegade is just starting out to become a monster keeper like his ancestors before him. I like its sprite. I like the color scheme. It's just a good looking game. As with all starting monster keepers, his journey begins on the keeper's trail. His bloodline's familiar bears the form of a spectral toad. Name your familiar. Okay. So yeah, I think for instances like that, I'll just get a like a dice, either app or something on my PC or whatever. Just so that I can throw the dice much easier. Okay, we got a toad. Got a earth toad, green toad. Mm, what could we name that one? We could name him frog. Haha, <laughs> fun. No. Um... Okay, I, that's, that's not even funny or anything, I'm gonna name him Fillion. So, the reason is, I was thinking about anything about Amphibian, and for some reason Amphibian went to Phibian, and then Fillion, Nathan Fillion, great actor, <laughs> played Castle, and uh, the character in Firefly that I don't know the name of because it's been at least six or seven years since I've seen that series. Oh damn. So his name is Fillion. I don't know if Nathan Fillion is written like that. I don't think he is. But whatever. Okay, he says that monsters are wild things. The only reason I'm helping you is the bond I share with your family. Most monsters are less inclined th than me to help you. That is why you must always raise your own monsters. They will grow alongside you just as I will. And they will fight for you. The best way to gain a monster's loyalty is to hatch it from its egg. Of course, you will have to fight to get those monster eggs. Look at the blob over there. I have no idea if that's an accent that's actually existing somewhere in the USA or if that's just me being stupid. I have no idea. I don't even know why I did that. But anyway, initiate a fight by contact. We shall see if you will live up to your ancestors. All right, so as you can see, basically, this is a, oh cool, haha. Basically, this is a side-scrolling, <clears throat> my voice, a side-scrolling monster collect collection game thing. Uh, it it kind of reminds me of Terraria, just looking way better. Some call it a, um, a Metroidvania thing, uh, game. But I really don't know. Okay, um, okay, we are both resistant to water and I'm strong against fire or is that the fire is strong against me I don't know but we will see we will see we have mud cannon we have bubble burst okay down there yeah I don't block anything we see what it does we see how much mana it costs where is our mana okay 97 is on top 
So, Mud Cannon. 4 times 40% with 160 magical damage, Earth. Uh, 4 times 50%, 200 magical damage. Would be more, but it's water and this thing is resistant. Uh, oh, okay. Attack items, enemy info. That's cool. And tackle, 3 times 60 is 180. Physical damage, neutral. So it's basically the same. Let's just do Earth and we'll attack the blob. So far, so good. As if I've seen this correctly, pretty much every attack is hits multiple times. Which is strange, but I mean, I'm okay with that. Let's go for a tackle. Yeah. That the damage. It attacks us. So basically, if we had the... If we chose the eagle, we would have had a way easier fight. But then again, I mean, it's a basic tutorial fight, so there is no way for us to actually... To actually die, I I guess I guess. I mean, I think if you're if you're stupid, you can still die. By the way, I'm drinking Sprite right now. <laughs> that looks cool in the green screen. <laughs> Love it. God, I love this thing. Like it's it's the first time I'm actually recording with this. But I love it. I so love it. Okay, enemy difficulty, combat duration, four turns, healthiness, overkill. So basically, we get points. We have a rare loot chance of 30% and we get gold bonus of 110%. We got the rare loot. I mean, of course, it's a tutorial. We have to get it. We got gold and we got a small potion times two. Come on. Um, do I have to... Okay, so A just takes everything. I, I didn't know if I had to choose both of them or just click continue. There we go. You received a blob egg. Now you need to hedge it. Open the inventory menu and try to hedge it. Uh, inventory, blob egg, hatch blob egg. So, I don't know if it's always just simply take the egg and... Uh, <laughs> oh god, oh god. And just you get it. Or... If... Um, or if you have to wait for some time or I don't know why. Uh, I don't know what. Okay. I hope it's how you uh, how you write it, but it's Blob Dylan. <laughs> Just it's it's Blob Dylan. I'm very sorry. I'm so sorry. I love it. All right, let's see uh, skills of Blob Dylan. Oh oh. Okay, here down there we see uh, work in progress. By the way, behind me that just says buff info. So there's nothing that I'm actually blocking that's important. And also, I don't know how long this episode will be. Like, um, I'm guessing around 20 minute episodes in general, and this first episode might be longer. You never know. Because I basically didn't do anything. So, these are the basic attacks, as far as I know. And here you see their upgrades that I get with levels. Like, I get skill points. So, I have one skill point in each of those, it seems, because. No skill points left, okay. I really don't know what that all means. Oh no, this is level 1, level 2, level 3, level 4. So basically these are all level 1. That makes sense. And I'm guessing I've learned these two because they glow and I haven't learned these two because I have. They don't. Um, I would say we will keep the skills for later. Like, I'm um, gonna wait till we level up and then we actually have to think about that so I think let's keep it for now that is your first monster you hatched by yourself right now it's weak so you will need to train it there's much more for you to learn too you and that blob are quite alike <laughs> let's continue on the keepers try trail it will lead us to old Burren, an old friend of mine he's a patient teacher to all young keepers who seek guidance I advise you to listen to him very carefully all right by the way, I'm, 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 I'm liking the movement in this. Like, we can jump fairly high, we can run fairly fast. Wait a minute, I can shoot. Does that do anything? Did that do damage to them? I don't think it does. We got Blob Dylan, Fillion, okay. There is one thing that I, oops. Okay, if I remember correctly. I heard something in the video that I, uh, that I watched 
that um, like the first monster you have in, in the party, right, the, the, the front does normal damage, the second one deals more damage, and the third one deals even more damage. I just don't really know, like, let's wait until it's explained. Okay, we got Arcane Bolt, 4 times 40 percent magical damage, neutral. And heal, heal target for 4 times 40 plus 20 percent magic. That's nice, we got a healer. Um, we're gonna start with the first one because, I mean, let's just focus one down. Uh, both are, <clears throat> sorry, both are of course resistant again. In theory, tackle does more than much shot, so let's use it. Bubble burst. So it's kind of like in Pokemon, and yes, I'm already comparing, but uh, the 160% uh, is just the base, I think. Uh, the base of the attack, the, ba uh, the attack basis, and the higher your attack and the lower the enemy's, uh, lower the enemy's defense and stuff like that, it just all, it just all measures into it. Like, if my attack is pretty high and the enemy's defense is pretty low or magic or whatever, then of course I'm doing more than these 160 or whatever. At least I'm, I think that's how it is. It, that actually sounds correct. And it would make sense. Combat results. We got rare loot chance of 40%, gold bonus of 120%. Um, can I get another blob egg when I have, uh, when I already have one? Hmm. Based on the effectiveness of your combat strategy, you get a rating of one to five stars. Earning a higher rating increase your chance of getting better drops like rare monster eggs. Okay. Because, like I said, I'm guessing that I can... I'm guessing that I can get more of them. Oh, eggs to interact. Young Keeper, this the Keeper's tra trail's beginning. For all of man, beast and sanctuary has beginning. Yay, that's... Oh my goodness, you are too cute. Okay, that doesn't do anything. Because... Oh, wow. Because in many in many uh, games, if you get the first attack on the field, then the enemies are actually weakened. We're gonna go for the arcane bolt uh, on the magma pillar. I really like how these oh oh bubble burst yeah how these designs are really really like simple of course because it is just a pixel game i'm very sorry for saying just a pixel game but you know what i mean it's not it's not a fully rendered 3d game it is a pixel game so that makes it way harder to actually get a lot of character into the characters like for instance just take pokemon again very sorry um and compare or no let's 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 take super mario Let's take Mario Brothers, whatever. They had to do their darndest to actually make him stand out. That's why he got the mustache, because otherwise he would just be a man, and that's it. Magma Pillar Egg, yay! I love getting eggs. Uh, level up plus one skill point, that's great. As your monsters gain experience in combat, they will increase in level. Can they evolve? This allows them to gain new skills. You should take a look at the skill tree menu. But first, inventory, magma pillar egg. That's awesome, that's awesome. Hatch the magma pillar, we're gonna call him... Hmm. <laughs> I want to call him Larry. Larry the Larva. <laughs> I mean, I know it's a caterpillar, but still, I'm gonna call him Larry. There is no pun right now, it's just Larry because... Heck, I don't know. And Larry got a skill point as well because he is level 2. Interesting. But we'll start with Fillion. We got Mud Cannon, we got Bubble Burst, we got Tackle, and we could get Barrier. Applies Barrier buff to whole team. Buff info. Receive 20% less damage. That's actually pretty dang good. Okay. So the arrow meant that fire is, of course, strong against us. 
So now it seems that we can just... We could either learn this. Okay, already learned. So I can only put one point in these. And these are just things that make it better. Poison glands. When this monster gets attacked, 50% chance to apply poison to the attacker. Awesome. Love it. Mud can level 2. 4 times 55. 4 times 40. Wow, that's significantly higher. And magic plus. Increase... I improve magic rating by 1, increases magic by 6, that's a lot. Mana plus, same with mana, but increases 7 and increases mana regeneration by 3, nice. 4 times 50, 5 times 50, damn. Hybrid mastery, increases attack by 10% of this monster's magic and increases magic by 10% of this monster's attack. That is actually amazing with the magic plus and I see an attack plus as well. Taunt. When an ally would be attacked, 25% chance to redirect the attack to this monster. Did we get the tank? I think we got the tank. Attack level 2, which is, wow. Again, significantly stronger. Attack plus. And here we would have health plus. Wow. Safe cast. Applies barrier to whole team. Applies channel to a random monster. Active skills require 20% less mana. That's actually pretty good. Aura. All monsters in the party receive 5% less damage. Oh, I want that. I need that. But we're gonna start with poison glands because I love poison. I said it before, I want poison on this. Larry, what do you have? Ignite, 3 times 50, magical damage, fire applies burn. Once receives damage based on own attack or magic value, whichever is higher, at the start of each turn. Oh, so the stronger the enemy monster, the more it burn damage it takes. And it says applies burn, not chance to uh, apply burn. Just saying. Arcane Bolt. Barrier and shield. Oh, this one has barrier as well, but he already has it. Or it, or whatever. Shield, shield, all for one. Yada, yada, yada. That's... That's a lot. I think. <laughs> okay, he would have magic plus. What's his magic stat? 49. He would have 47, 49. So, yeah, that's pretty normal, I'd guess. Night level 2, 4 times 50 instead of 3 times 50, and applies burn. Burning desire, aura, apply shield to the party when an enemy receives burn. Damage equal to 10% of each monster's max health. That is freaking amazing. I just need to attack and everyone gets a shield. Kindle, every hit has a 10% chance to apply burn. That's also amazing. It just, I would like to know if that means... Like, it, you attack with an arcane bolt, you attack four times. Does it mean four times every time it has a 10% chance? Or is it just this one attack of arcane bolt? These four attacks have a 10% chance. I don't know. Level 2, of course, Cascade. The damage of every consecutive hit during an attack is increased by 5% continuously. For a four hit attack, plus 0, plus 5, plus 10, plus 15. So it actually... Oh, wow. It actually stacks. So I'm guessing this stacks as well guessing health plus not bad sustain of course we oh applies regeneration regenerates 15% of maximum health at the start of the turn that's a lot all monsters in the party deal 5% more damage Ooh. mana shield for all and mana shielding when attacking an enemy generate a shield equal to 10% of max mana for each hit that's awesome, but we're gonna start with Burning Desire, because every time we burn someone, all my guys get a shield. That sounds amazing and kinda broke. So what I was saying was, um, pixel art, like in a 3D game, there is way more cestus. Potato, heals, small antidote, removes debuffs. Revives target, small potion heals target, and says this is... Oh, it's a weapon. Equipment. We're gonna start with Filian because Filian is my starter. So I will always... Okay, everyone by default has a wooden stick. I will always give the best stuff at first to uh, Filian. Just because he's my starter and stuff. Tate Kunai. Uh, I'm guessing another equipment. 30, 30, and mana regeneration. Wooden stick, 30, 30, and defense plus. I'd say you get the kunai. I don't know how you throw it or even hold it, but you get it. 
Because I think Blob might be the first one to go from the team once I get better mons. But then again, maybe not. We will see. Okay, you talk to me. Hey friend, you are just starting as a monster keeper, right? Did you find some equipment for your monsters already? You can make your monsters stronger by equipping them. Okay, thanks. Oops, always the wrong button. Hey fellow keeper, did you know that every single one of your monsters possesses a special ability? Some can be used to get rid of certain obstacles. Also, you might encounter some destructible walls like the one behind me. Go on and try to hit it with some of your monsters abilities. Okay, so the wall has a crack. I'm guessing that's what shows us that it is destructible. Obtain the vital ring. I guess I can guess what that does. Yeah, that gives us a lot of health. 75, that seems like a lot. Oops. Okay, again, uh, with pixel art, it is harder to actually get something out of it. Like, it is... Okay. I don't want to lessen anyone's efforts or lessen anyone's work. I don't mean that in any rude way. I hope it doesn't sound that way. Like this guy right in front of us. That's a basic citizen or a basic guy, farmer guy, whatever. That is, if you know, if you actually know your way around pixel art, that's kind of easy to do. The player character, he has way more. Like, of course, he has something else on him, but like uh, clothes and stuff. But he actually has quite a lot of character. And that is something that is not too easy to find. And the same with, oh wow, all three of them at once. Uh, same with... Let's do it like that, I guess. Um, okay, uh, weak to... Oh, he's weak to... Uh, what's it called? Earth. That's great. So we're gonna do the arcane bolt on this block. Ignite. They are all... Okay, they're weak to wind. And this one is weak to... Earth. That should do it. Okay. So the enemy burns and now all of my guys should have gotten a shield. Or is it just every time the burn actually ticks? Ah, uh, wait, 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 wait. Let's destroy you with a mud cannon. Yeah, you dead. You dead. You so dead. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. Um, about the damage. As you see in the left corner up there, there is an 11 attack combo. So the more you attack, you see the combo? It goes up four hits. That means the next one deals 20% more damage. Now. And now the next one, because of the thir three hits, deals 135% uh, damage. That's awesome. Buff info. Okay, it's just burn again. Um, so we're gonna go for the one in the back, because the other one will die to burn. I hope at the beginning of his turn. Yes. Okay, so every time... The burn ticks, not not as soon as someone is burned, but anyone the burn ticks, we actually get a shield. That's great. I love it. So basically the higher count, the higher attack count we have, the more damage our guy in the back does. That's that's really that's a really interesting mechanic. And we get four. So rare loot chance is 60% copper upgrade material okay i'm fine with that and <laughs> blob dylan <laughs> love the name i i sometimes i love my own names blob dylan gets one point acid rain three times 45 so that's weaker than arcane bolt but magical damage water but applies armor break okay uh the the, the kids in the background you might hear him every now and then Sorry for that. Applies armor break debuff. Reduces defense by 40%. I don't think there is any any question what I'm going to do now. Slime shot applies poison. Oh, I love poison. Mm, this is 10% of its maximum health at the start of each turn. But I think acid rain is better. Because if Blob Dylan stays in front. I love the name Blob Dylan so much. I'm very sorry. Then he can attack three times, which ups the attack from the next one, and uh, the enemy takes more damage. Oops. 
So I think that's actually a good idea. This game is adorable. I'm, I'm not... Like, I like pixel games, but I'm not... There are too many pixel games for me to be like, Oh, this looks stunningly new or whatever. But this game is just adorable in general. And I kind of love that the monsters... Like, so far, all I've seen, they are pretty... Uh, how do I say it? They are... Pretty standard creatures with a bit plus. Like, com compare the bird that we just fought with a regular bird and then compare it with a like bird Pokemon Digimon whatever like one of those big ones then again there might be more more later on but I really like just simple creature designs they can be so much better and in this minimal pixel design they work so much better because you actually see everything about them you can actually grasp what they are i just love it man prospered through generations founded cities and nations connected by dirt and wheel and later by steam and steel Ooh, poems can we yes we can actually get that we can jump pretty high okay i just saw that i can actually that i actually see what it does when i pick it up defense plus 10 mana uh, mana regeneration plus 10 so damage reduction 12% that's just because of our defense I'm guessing. Uh, mana regeneration you have the least so you get the bracelet. Why not? I mean not like I lose something. I could give it all to uh, what's his name? Um, Fillion. But I think just keeping them all a bit balanced. Defense plus 12 critical chance plus 6%. That's actually something for Fillion in this case. Gauntlet. Like giving all to Fillion just makes him way stronger, but keeping him balanced is a good idea, I guess. Jump on him! They're birds, we jump on him. Um Oh, choose monsters is because I can have up to six monsters with me. Okay. And I'm guessing I can change the uh the order of them. We'll see. So acid rain attacks, did two critical hits, that's nice. And now this one takes more damage because he has a armor debuff and we're gonna ignite him. That might not have been a good idea. That was actually stupid thinking about it because we want this guy to live because he's burned. So I should have, what I should have done is uh, put a debuff, uh, like the, the armor debuff on one bird, put the burn on another bird and then attack the armor debuff the bird. Because now all three of them might be able to attack me. Or attack me. But we get a shield. Might. They might attack me. Oh no. Oh no. I was just... Oh my goodness. I, I'm stupid sometimes. In my head, I saw critical hits on, um, on Larry. Because he's a bug. And we're fighting against flying types. Yeah. Mm -hmm, that's pretty much it yes of course <laughs> okay so what do we do we will lower your uh, okay we... mm, that was a bad idea again now I'm just spreading the damage and that sucks uh... mm. I mean I could try and bank on critical hits and with okay with those two critical hits I probably would have killed the other one that was enough damage from the burn that's nice and we still get the shield wow we really need to heal which we're gonna do right now because we have a healer that is a lot of healing wow we're gonna ignite so basically the idea of a damage dealing support or healer announced uh, damage dealing yeah support is really great and by that I mean Larry with his as soon as he burns someone we all get shields or as soon as someone gets burned damage we get shields that is something that I absolutely like okay wait man knew of those who wait in the woods and caverns beyond yet for the treasure within he longed for the greed of kings was great yeah that sounds like man <laughs> 
uh, what was I saying? Yeah, it reminds me of Rift. If anyone knows, still knows the game Rift, I think it's still around, isn't it? Uh, let's go for Acid Rain on this one. Now, this time we're gonna be smart, we're gonna put Ignite on this other one, because A, he's weak to fire, and B, uh, he burns now. And now we're gonna kill this one, the weakened one, with what he's weak against. So basically, that was a pretty great move on my part, not gonna lie. Um, in Rift, why did I talk about Rift? Oh yeah, there were some, uh, there were different... Uh, different classes, different souls for the different classes. The souls were, yeah, um, um, like one class was, consisted of up to three souls. And you you would get different uh, attacks, abilities, whatever, from the different souls. And one of the souls for the mage, which I absolutely adored, was the Chloromant, I think it was called. The Chloromant was a healer, so you were a mage, but you were also a healer. But it was based on... Oh, come on, I just want more eggs! Um, it was based on how much damage you did. Like, you had debuffs that you could put on the enemies where... Like, for... Like, 10% of the damage, 15% of the damage you did to the enemy would get... Uh, like radiated as healing for your party members which means if you combine the chloromant sorry with something strong like the elemental mage you would then put the debuffs on the enemy put your high damage attacks or just throw out your high damage attacks and do quite a lot of damage because you're still a mage and the more damage you did the more you healed and as well just throw out some weaker chloromant abilities like um like some stones that were raining down on the enemies. They, they were weaker than your elemental stuff, but would have their heal increased. And so basically, the more you damage the enemy, the more you healed your own guys. And that was awesome. Oh, the orb for wizards. I like that. Taint Morningstar. Oh, same just for a physical attacker. Uh, like, I'm guessing Larry looks kind of like a wizard, doesn't he? By that, I mean... Uh, his attack is, yeah, his attack is abysmal. So basically, we will just. Hmm. We don't have any physical attacks, I think, with Blob Dylan. So, but his defense would go up. Yeah, let's no, no. We're gonna go for the kunai for more at magic. I think, I don't know, we'll keep it like that for now. Okay, um, all monsters in the party deal 5% more damage is great. Proof health rating is also great. Uh, plus burn, why not? Or just magic plus. But there was something else. Oh yeah, every hit has a 10% chance. So even the arcane bolt. But for that we would need the arcane bolt first. Do we want that? I think we... Mm, you know what? No, we want Ignite. We, we're gonna up everything on Ignite first, and then we're gonna move on to other stuff, I think. And now let's see what Filion has for us. And in this case, there was something I wanted. I kinda wanted Barrier, but now we already got that with Larry, so we don't really need that. Okay, magical damage, magical damage. Magical damage, magical damage, magical damage. So yeah, basically, B Blob Dylan doesn't need a uh, physical attack at all. That's good to know. Uh, Mud Cannon, we could... Or Magic Plus, actually not bad. Increased attack by 10% of... You know what? Let's just do it like this. Because 10% of our attack is 5. I'm guessing they round it down. And 10% of our magic is 5 as well. So we should get to 61 on both. 62 the round up. That is amazing. I did not expect that. I love it. Fillion is looking good right now and I want you. I want your egg. Come on. Give me an egg. Please. Just give me an egg. Here we 
We're at 40 minutes, so I'm guessing this... Um, uh, wait, we're weak against fire, so you will... Yeah, we're gonna attack you with Acid Rain. I know you are... Uh, you're strong against it, but we just want the armor debuff. Now we want to burn, and we want the mud cannon on this one. That was pretty weak. Like, in general, that was pretty weak. So now we want to kill the first slime. And after one, afterwards we want to burn the last slime. Because two burning targets give us... Two, wow, that's a lot. Give us two... There's a sneeze coming. Very sorry. Um... Yeah, we're just gonna attack this one. Because between Blob Dylan and uh, Fillion we should be able to kill it. Now we b burn both, like I said, because then we'll get double the amounts of shields, or more or less double. Because I don't know how it's counted. No, how it's... Yeah, how, how the math is done. Okay, getting healed. I'm okay with that punch combo didn't even go through the shields. Uh, we're gonna heal Larry, because why not? Um, we're gonna burn this guy, and that should be more than enough for it to die next turn. Also, since he attacked Fillion, he is now poisoned, so basically there is no way he lives. I love it! Rocky Egg! Yes! Yes! Awesome. Amazing. So we're gonna end this with A, another skill point, and a monster hatching. That's... That's actually nice. I like that. Rocky Egg. Yes! I want to hatch Rocky. And I know the perfect... I know the ne perfect name for Rocky. It's gonna be Creed. <laughs> I... Sometimes I like... Sometimes I like my ideas. It's so stupid. I love it. It's... Yeah. And he's already level 3, so I'm guessing he kinda... They, they kinda always are the level that the party is, or like... I would guess not not the level of the strongest monster, but maybe the level of the weakest monster. Like if you have level 10, 10, 9 and 7, then it would be level 7. Or maybe all um, the, the uh, middle of it, like... In this case, of course, it's 3, because everyone is 3, but if we had a level 3, 4, and 5 monster, then it would be level 4. You know what I mean? I hope you do. I don't know what it's called in English, so I'm very sorry. Okay, I really want Slime Shot, because it applies poison. I love poison. But we haven't checked out Dil Blob Dylan, uh, his other abilities. Mana, up mana upkeep. Increases mana regeneration of the whole party by 10%. That's a lot. Acid Rain 2, just better. Not a whole lot. Like, it's it's not really the... Mm. It's not really the strongest move, but it applies armor break. Okay, still defense 40. So the buffs don't change. Improves health, not bad. Mana, why not? Arcane Bolt plus 2. Bubble... Oh, he can learn Bubble Burst afterwards as well. That's interesting. Heal, magic plus... Heal 2 heals way more. So magic, I'm guessing, also counts for healing, because there are no separate stats for that. Combo healing. Healing skills triggers an additional heal equal to 30% of magic value. So basically we... on the same target? That would be good to know. Sorcery. Apply sorcery buff to the whole team. Magic skill deals 20 more now. Oh my goodness. Okay. We want slime shot. I really want slime shot. And then we see what Creed has, the punch combo, which is physical. Leaf Slash, physical, so you get the morning star. Spore, a magical damage, applies weakness, deals 25% less damage. Love it, we need that. And Restore, he's target for magic and removes debuff. That is good. I'm guessing it is if lower heal than the normal heal, but it removes a debuff. Attack plus, mana plus, punch combo level 2, just deals damage flat out, there is nothing about it, anything. 
love it. Crit chance, plus 5% crit chance, leaf slash just gets better as well. So this guy doesn't really do anything with, um, or at least doesn't do too much with buffing or debuffing. Improved mana regeneration, plus 20%, 20%. Mana plus, Spore level. So we basically have two mana plus in here. Nice. Spore level two. Health plus, of course, magic plus. Restore level two. And channel, applies channel to the whole team. Skills require 20% less mana. I like it, but I think I'm gonna go for Spore. And we have one more skill point, which we will put into just attack plus. Because why not? And now we're gonna equip Creed with the Morning Star, because we don't really need the magic. Because the only attack, the magic attack we have is Spore, but that's more because of the debuff, not because of the damage. Mana Ring, Mana plus 35. Yeah, he has the least amount of mana. So I'm just gonna put it on him. Why not? And I would really like one more fight. Maybe use Creed in a fight. Um, is there a way? Oh, yes. Actually, the minimap. That's nice. So from what I've seen so far, I love this game. Absolutely. I hope the first episode wasn't too dry. Because, I mean, yes, I've, I'm playing this for the first time. By the way... Um, Toad has this attack. I'm, I think the flying monster can actually give us like a, a, a double jump or anything, or something like that, or a higher jump. So, like I said, hopefully it wasn't too dry, but it is the first episode. I'm just, I'm just playing this for the first time. Right, keep a stronghold. Left, keep a trail. So, of course, we want to keep going left, but first I want to go down and see. Nice. Plane 2 copper. And there is no way for us to go there. I'm guessing if we go to the keeper's thing on the right, then we can go down there. So we will keep going right in the next episode. Do we have to save? Oh, it's save and quit. Awesome. I don't mind that. As long as it's not kind of a quick save. If you, So if I continue, uh, if I continue... The safe will be there. And by the way, we have nine more slots. That's absolutely amazing. Dog? <laughs> That's absolutely amazing. I love this game so far. But I will see you guys in the next episode. No idea when that will be up. Like there is, I think I said it in the update. Um, there is no fixed schedule for this. This game is just, I think once or twice a week for now. I don't know how much I will record. This is just the first episode. We will see about that. But at least once once a week for now. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm the Renegade Cactus and I gotta run. Bye bye.